The monsoon session of the Orissa Legislative Assembly began on Saturday and the House witnessed a ruckus over the remarks of suspended BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma on Prophet Muhammad. Congress Legislative Party leader Narasingha Mishra and Deputy Leader of the BJP Legislative Party Vishnu Sethi were engaged in a verbal argument over the Supreme Court's direction to Nupur Sharma. The House witnessed a massive uproar when the issue was raised during the question hour and Narasingha Mishra sought Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak's views on Sharma's statement. On Friday, the SC had slammed former BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma over her profit remarks and said her irresponsible statements set entire country on fire. The top court also refused to grant relief to Sharma for transferring all furs filed against her to Delhi. The ruckus occurred in the House as members of both Congress and Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, stood up from their seats and raised slogans. Following the uproar, Speaker V.K. Arukha, who for the first time presided over the House after his election last month, adjourned proceedings of the House till 4 p.m. Pointing at the BJP, Narasingha Mishra said, Nupur Sharma was the spokesperson or an agent of BJP. Yesterday, the Supreme Court reprimanded her and also criticized the political party indirectly. Citing the Supreme Court's scathing criticism of Nupa Sharma, Mishra said the court had observed that the statement might have been made with political intentions. It means the apex court has indirectly slammed the BJP and the union government, he said. The Prime Minister and Home Minister have no right to continue in power. So, they should tender resignation, Mishra told reporters outside the house. Responding to Mishra, BJP Deputy Leader Vishnu Sethi said, Congress is in power in the state where the barbaric killing of a tailor took place recently. Did the CM resign after the incident? Nupa Sharma is not a member of the Orissa Assembly. Why would there be a debate on her controversial remarks? He questioned, adding that the party has already suspended her and she has also apologized for the same. Later, Sethi targeted the Congress over the issue of the exodus of Kashmir Pandits. The Speaker adjourned the House proceedings twice for 10 minutes and later till 4 p.m.